Destiny guides our fortunes more favourably than we could have expected. Look there, Sancho Panza, my friend, and see those 30 or so wild giants with whom I intend to do battle and kill each and all of them. So with their stolen booty, we can begin to enrich ourselves. This is noble, righteous warfare, for it is wonderfully useful to God to have such evil races wiped from the face of the earth. What giants? The ones you can see over there, with the huge arms, some of which are very nearly two leagues long. Now look, Your Grace, what you see over there aren't giants, but windmills, and what seem to be arms are just their sails that go round in the wind and turn the millstone. Obviously, you don't know much about adventures. When life itself seems lunatic, who knows where madness lies? Perhaps to be too practical is madness. To surrender dreams, this may be madness. Too much sanity may be madness. And maddest of all, to see life as it is and not as it should be. Take my advice and live for a long, long time. Because the maddest thing a man can do in this life is to let himself die. And it is not the responsibility of knights errant to discover whether the afflicted, the enchained and the oppressed whom they encounter on the road are reduced to these circumstances and suffer this distress for their vices or for their virtue. The knight's sole responsibility is to succour them as people in need, having eyes only for their sufferings and not for their misdeeds. For hope is always born at the same time as love. And the most perceptive character in the play is the fool, because the man who wishes to seem simple cannot be a simpleton. Love you, Dad. Always Happy have. birthday. You're a better man than I. And remember, some of them windmills are monsters. And some of them monsters are windmills. <laughs>